Unfortunately, we all have heard the news that Chadwick Boseman, star of Black Panther, passed away from cancer. And I think just like everybody else, I was completely blown away by when this happened. And Black Panther is actually one of my favorite movies to come out of the Marvel Universe. Uh, in the last 10 years, I mean, the movie had its flaws, structurally speaking. But I absolutely loved Chadwick Boseman in the role. And from the moment his character appeared in Captain America Civil War, I wanted to see more of Black Panther and Chadwick Boseman. And now that he's gone, the only thing I can think of, the only thing that keeps popping into my head, is how is Marvel Comics going to screw this up? I mean... It's one of the biggest movies of all time. You can't not do another movie for T'Challa. Well, well, not maybe not T'Challa, but you certainly can't avoid Black Panther as a character in the MCU. He's one of the biggest characters there is right now. So, going over it, for me, there's only one logical solution. And that is Winston Duke. Winston Duke played uh, M'Baku in the movie, in Black Panther. Uh, he was the leader of the uh, ape tribe that lived up in the mountains. And it just makes perfect sense that Winston Duke should be the next Black Panther. And if you don't think I'm right, let me explain. Uh, number one, it would be disrespectful to go ahead and get some other actor just to play T'Challa at this point. T'Challa's character, I mean, you, you can do something, you know, respectful. You can go ahead and explain why his character passed away. You can say that, you know, he died during that fight uh, with Thanos. You know, he, he fell in battle. But I'd like to remind everybody, Winston Duke's character, M'Baku, did not die. His character survived the snap. So for five years, who do you think was running the country? Logically, in a warrior culture in which you become king by combat, there's only one person who would have been ruler of Wakanda for the five years between the snap and the final defeat of Thanos. M'Baku. M'Baku played by Winston Duke. And you can show that. You can show that Winston Duke became the Black Panther. That he became King of Wakanda. You can have some conflict between Winston Duke, who's been running the country for five years, and um, Shuri, T'Challa's sister. You can actually show this blossoming into a romance. You can show their characters working together because Mbaku's completely relying on uh, the leftover technology and his own fighting prowess. He doesn't have the super strength, speed, or agility of the Black Panther because, as we know from the first film, uh, the uh, plant that they got the powers from were gone. And you can have some new enemy show up that like, actually has superpowers, that the technology that M'Baku's been using to be the Black Panther is just not up to snuff. You can have this whole storyline where he and Shuri have to go out together to find uh, the sacred plant, like somewhere in the mountains or someplace other than where it was in the capital. 
to actually get him the powers to become the Black Panther that he can then return and fight whatever supervillain bad guy that they're dealing with and show Winston Duke's character of Umbaku how much he's grown in the years since he's had the weight of being king on his shoulders on a Wakanda that was devastated by the snap how much they lost, how much he's been trying to rebuild. And you can have him dealing with the political reality of what happens when the nation's population suddenly doubles, where you've got outside forces wanting to come into Wakanda. So you can do a lot of really great things with Winston Duke as the next Black Panther. So... You know, start a hashtag movement. I mean, I've actually got it over here on my own page, Winston Duke as Black Panther. Let's go ahead and in honor of the previous film of Chadwick Boseman and to help Marvel avoid screwing this up, let's get out there and start asking Marvel to make Winston Duke the next Black Panther. To make him the star of the film. I mean, it makes perfect sense that his character would be King of Wakanda. That his character for the last five years would have had the mantle of Black Panther and be fighting for his people and his country. And to be living in the shadow of T'Challa. To have the state funeral where he is king is there. Uh, The fact that you can say that Shuri's mother... T'Challa's mother uh, has still been queen regent, you know, not that he married her, but that he kept her in the palace, that he honored her and respected her and have her convince Shuri to work with M'Baku to rebuild their nation, to help him truly become the Black Panther. He's got the acting chops to pull it off. He's got the look to pull it off. The guy's like six foot five. He's a freaking giant. So he's got the physical stature to pull it off. And more importantly, Winston Duke is a hell of an actor. And I really think we need to start as fans really pushing for Winston Duke to become the next Black Panther because frankly, it's the only logical choice.